क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व अ न्यू मेरिकल विच इज बेस्ड ऑन पीरियोडिसिटी ऑफ डिस्क्रिट टाइम सिग्नल एंड द प्रॉब्लम इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन नाउ व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बेसिकली वी वांट अ वैल्यू ऑफ पीरियड दैट इज अ नंबर ऑफ सैंपल्स वैल्यू बट दैट वैल्यू मस्ट बी इन ए रैशनल फॉर्मैट how to obtain that rational format and how to obtain the period value that i will show you from this numerical so let's start with the problem number 1 so problem number 1 check whether the given discrete time signal is periodic or not now where you will find out the period over here because in many of the questions or in many of the standard equations we have seen or we have studied one formula and that formula is a cos of omega n and from this omega you can get the value of total number of samples now first of all we'll see what is asked x of n is equal to cos square 2 pi n now we want function in only cos but here question is given in cos square n so we can use one formula that is cos square theta is nothing but 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 where my theta value is 2 pi n so i will show you how to solve this question and how to obtain the total number of samples that is how to find out the given function is periodic or not let's see in this case The cos square theta formula is one plus cos theta by two, and the sine square theta. You should know the sine square theta is one minus cos two theta by two. You should know, you should know the basic formulas related to cos and sine, and it is necessary while solving the numericals related to energy power or periodic or non-periodic or the if numericals related to in a, uh, encounters in a Laplace transform, Z transform, and the Fourier series. So now come to the point. We'll use this formula in our question. so my theta is 2 pi n so i have just substituted theta that is 2 pi n in my formula and i'm going to change this base like we know that a plus b by 2 can be divided by a by 2 plus b by 2 so after separating the base what you can say that you will get a half and i have consider this is my x of n this whole part is my x of n now what is half what do you mean by half half is nothing but one dc amplitude is added in x of n you can say that when dc amplitude is added in x1 of n so after adding a dc shift or dc amplitude the function will not get affected if whether it is periodic or non periodic it will follows the same sequences after adding a dc shift so half doesn't matter at all but what about x of n whether x of n is periodic or not we'll see now we will see the periodicity of x of n because total x of n is completely depends on x1 of n because as i told you earlier dc shift will not affects the periodicity or non periodicity only the thing is x of n is completely depends on x1 of n so let's see x1 of n is periodic or not now let's say my x1 of n is half of cos of 4 pi n i'm going to compare the frequency of cos 4 pi n so this is my frequency omega i have just compare this omega we know that omega is 2 pi so 2 pi f so f is nothing but i am going to shift this 2 pi on left hand side so 4 pi by 2 pi is t 2 now in frequency in discrete part this frequency is represented by k by n where n is the period and the k is the number of cycles so you can say that here the value is 2 If this value is two, so I can write this two as two by one also, or simply you can keep it as it is. But now look at here. Here the value two is perfectly rational, or you can say a perfect combination of two integer. That's why I have divided it by one. If you divide it by one, then also it is fine. If not, then also it is fine. Just one thing is necessary. Whatever result will come, this result should always have the value of two integers, or the value must be perfectly rational. In this case, this two by one is rational number. Then you can say that x one of n is periodic. 
So as I told you earlier, this x of n is completely depends on x1 of n. If x1 of n is periodic, then this is shift doesn't matter at all. If x1 of n is periodic, then automatically x of n is also periodic. That's why I've written x of n remains periodic even after x1 of n is added with a DC shift. This is how we are going to calculate the periodicity of different discrete time function signals. Now, we will solve the next numericals in next further videos. So, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.